This is the Weaponographist. I know nothing about this game. Welcome to Hell's Side. Nice town name, question mark? Excuse me, so you have a mimic on your shoulder? Oh. Online leaderboards? Oh, okay. How to play. No, no, we're gonna learn the hard way. Let's go into this giant cave. Video games, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so it's a, uh, still roguelike-ish, but, and this is a big but, <laughs> it's uh, almost all melee, I'm guessing. Hey -ah, hey -ah. Combat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, my, my things. Give me. Hi -ah. Wait, am I playing as Zap Brannigan? The key to victory is discipline, and that means a well-made bed. Oh god. Nah, yeah, see? Uh, wait, I can pick up the Tommy gun? <laughs> oh god, this game is perfectly acceptable. The animation is pretty. Oh. The end. Oh, okay, so it is a roguelike ish. But each time you play, you're gonna be, you know, upgrading yourself. So it's just, you know, a matter of getting to the end. You know, it's the kind of thing where you throw yourself at the wall, and each time the wall gets a little more damaged and you get a little stronger. That is how walls work, right? So I am liking what the game has going for it right now. But I will say this, I don't know if it's doing anything that really changes the genre. You know, there is something to say be said about something like, say, you know, Assault Android Cactus that really played around, did the story, did everything like that. This doesn't feel as in-depth or as exciting as Assault Android Cactus did. It just sort of feels like something I've played before. Not a bad experience, mind, but just not a super memorable one. Oh my god, level 42. I've discovered the meaning of life. Well, never mind. I... Everything is loneliness. You know what this is? It's a Newgrounds game. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Newgrounds had some pretty awesome stuff. But a lot of the stuff on Newgrounds is also very limited. You know, and usually that's fine. And for a cheap little game, that would be fine. But there is something that's sort of off-putting me to this. This game is $10. $10 does seem really steep for this game. I already... I already got the sword fully leveled? That's it? I am pretty sure I got this game when it was on sale. I had to have. I never would have spent 10 bucks on a game I knew nothing about. Nah, yeah, see? This weapon doesn't belong in this time period. Yeah. I do like the way that you pick up new weapons really quick and can keep the action going. That works for the game. Don't worry, there's nothing to spear. Yeah! Would've worked better if I killed him with one hit. Dade. Okay, I think this is a good time to do a recap. Um, it's a good experience, but it feels like it's missing something. There needs to be more. It feels like, I said, a Flash game that's on Steam. And that's fine, there's plenty on it there, but $10? That seems really steep for this. I feel like, you know, five would be even pushing it a little bit. I would say if you want to get this game, if this game appeals to you, wait for it to go on sale because $10 is a little too much for this experience. Not a bad experience, just not the best experience for your money. Wonder what a weaponographist is. Okay, so the combo meter is going up, but my level isn't. I guess you have to get to a certain level each time. Probably like 25, I'm guessing. Let's test the theory. I'm curious, too. Nope. 